Yeah, hi. So I was at the hairdresser's today and he told me that my hair actually grows faster in the back here than it does up here. And I found that pretty amusing because he says he's only seen maybe one other person besides me where their hair grew faster in the back. So that was pretty funny. He was also a vegetarian. And yeah, I think that men make a lot better hairdressers than women do. So I've had my hair done by both and always the guys that do my hair are always a lot, they do it a lot faster and a lot more sufficient and just very, it seems like it's very much more easier for them to do hair than it is for a woman to do hair. So I don't know, maybe it's the, um, the electromagnetic EMFL or whatever it's called from the hair dryers, I think that probably cause women more damage. So maybe they're less, you know, that's why they're like less fast or something. I'm not sure, but I think it's called EMFL. It's some kind of radiation or something that hair dryers emit. So I wouldn't let him blow dry my hair. Um, I just, you know, said that's okay. If it doesn't come out right, then I would just come back. And he said, okay, sure, you could just come back if it. it's not turn if it doesn't turn out right. But it did, so it looks good. So I'm happy with it. And then I had to um, wait for like. 20 minutes for the bus and it really pissed me off there was like a whole bunch of people there and the bus driver was like yelling at everyone and stuff and I don't understand why he was so mean he was like yelling at people and so after that I came home and I had to stop at like four different restaurants just to get my meal together so like one restaurant might have Let's say I had like a grilled artichokes um, ro or fire roasted grilled artichokes. So I had to go to that, that restaurant and then I had to go to another restaurant for my organic vegan black bean soup. And then I had to go to another restaurant to get my natto roll, um, Japanese, you know, with rice and fermented soybeans. So yeah, I had to make like three stops for that, and then I had to go to the store, and then they didn't have any organic melons or pineapples, so the only thing I could get really was uh, organic bananas and organic pears. So I guess I'll be living on pears and bananas and um, whatever else I can scrounge around up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm getting really tired of this because you go to a store and you would think that they would always have organic and this isn't the case at Whole Foods here and then you go to another Whole Foods and they they might have something else organic so it's like you have to run all over the place just to get all your organic stuff I asked him I said well when are you gonna get some more organic blueberries and he's like well we haven't had those for like two weeks and I'm like no well I I said I went to um, the little or the smaller organ or the smaller Whole Foods store down the street, and they actually, you know, the other day, and I told him they had organic blueberries, and he's like, "Oh, really? I didn't know that." So now it's like I have to drive clear across town just for organic blueberries. It's really pissing me off. So yeah, I guess that's all.